In this video we're going to continue to look at some of the things you can do with pictures in PowerPoint. I'm going to add a new slide so let's go to our home tab over here and let's go to new slide and again we'll just do title and content we just need some space for some content here and let's go insert a picture from a file so we'll click on our button here we could also do the same by going up to the insert tab and choosing pictures it's the same icon and here's a picture that we're going to take a look at and um, I want to do a little bit of cropping on this picture I don't want any people in the picture so I'm going to crop her out and uh, on your picture tools uh, there's a cropping tool over here on the right and if you click on the down arrow uh, we've got a couple of options and one is crop when you select that you'll get these black handles around the corners here and if you want to delete something you just take one of those handles and push it in a little bit and so I push it in about that far and you can do the same thing on the corners or any one of the sides and when you're done just go click on the crop button again and that will finalize your crop some other options here for um, cropping uh, you can also crop to a specific shape so if I want uh, well, a rectangle is what it is already uh, if I want to uh, round the corners and it's not going to do a light preview for me here so I'm going to have to uh, click on it so let's do rounded corners and it rounds the corners for me and you can get uh, any one of these many shapes these are the same shapes uh, that will appear over here on the insert tab if you go and choose shapes and it will put uh, those shapes into your um, slideshow. Some other options that we have for formatting pictures. Um, picture styles are presets. We've already taken a look at those. Uh, we've got some options over here for borders. Uh, you can choose a color for a border. So let's put something obvious that we'll easily see around this. Let's do a red border around it. And we get a very thin line and if we want to thicken the line we can go here to wait and pick whatever we want uh, you can also check uh, if you don't want a solid line uh, you've got some other options here this one does do a live preview for us and um, I think I'm happy with the solid line so we'll just leave it like that then we've got some picture effects here and we've got shadows and I think this does a live preview too so if I pause the mouse over this you can shadow is not very big but uh, you can see a little bit of a shadow appearing here and um, so you can do shadows on the outside you can do shadows on the inside we can do some other shadows here these are a little bit more obvious to see on the on the live preview and if you want to customize you can go down here and click on shadow options and explore some of those things uh, we can also do a reflection and um, these are just different sizes let me take our picture here and just get my four-headed arrow and slide it up a ways and we will see what some of our options are for reflection here so basically uh, this is the size and then you can put a gap between it and do different sizes and then you've got more options here if you want to customize uh, we've got some options for glow there it just puts kind of a, a little glow effect around the outside uh, one of six different colors here it's kind of hard to see with the uh, narrow ones up here but if you go down here to some of the wider ones you'll see that we can get uh, a pretty good glow around the picture and like the other ones um, you can choose options you can do soft edges and the further we go on this the more you're going to be able to see what happens with the soft edges so it just kind of uh, gradually fades the picture out into the surrounding uh, area and again you can customize this one uh, we've got some choices for bevels here which kind of give the picture a 3d effect and some of these are more obvious than others they're probably a little bit less obvious because I've got that red border around the outside but basically this gives it kind of a 3d effect on the outside let's uh, let's go back here to our picture and let's go to picture border and choose no outline that'll turn that off now let's try the effects again and let's go to bevel and see if uh, yeah it's a little more pronounced now 
and then we've got 3D and if you want to kind of rotate it and kind of you know make it look like it's flipped in three-dimensional space uh, you can do that you know most of these options just make the picture a little bit harder to see and you do have some options down here you can go and customize that if you want to so those those are all the picture effects and then for picture layout um, what we've got here are some options for what they call smart art and we'll take a look at that in another video